Hello friends, so this video is about ELS writing task 1 pie chart. So let's see the information provided by ELS first and then we are going to see band 9 answer structure for ELS writing task 1 and then we are going to see the sample answer. So let's read the information first. The pie charts display the quantity of oil production and consumption in million barrels per day in 7 areas of the world in year 2005. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where they learnt. So here we have two pie charts. So let's see the information in the pie chart. First is about oil production million barrels per day and second is about oil consumption million barrels per day. And these are seven regions in the world. And uh, let's see then. The first one is Latin America. And in case of Latin America, the production is more than consumption. Then in case of Africa, here also production is more. In case of Asia Pacific, here production is less and consumption is more. In case of Europe, here the production is less and consumption is more. In case of former Soviet Union, here the production is more and consumption is less. Now in case of Middle East, production is very high while oil consumption is very less. And then in case of USA and Canada, here the production is less than the consumption. So now let's group the information as we have in seen the information and I have already done that. So these are the regions where production is more. And these are the regions with down arrows where production is less and consumption is more. So in overview you can write this and this. So let's see the band 9 answer structure for ELS writing task 1. So here is the band 9 answer structure for ELS writing task 1. First we have to write introduction. Then we have to write overview. Then two body paragraphs. We can write only one body paragraph also, but to uh, group the information properly, I always write two body paragraphs. So in the introduction, we just paraphrase the information provided by else. Then in overview, in overview we write the main striking feature of the graph, like what is happening in the graph, what we can see very easily. Then in two body paragraph, we explain the whole chart or uh, pie chart. So let's begin with the introduction. Here is the introduction. So let's read the information and then paraphrase it. The pie chart display the quantity of oil production and consumption in million barrels per day in seven areas of the world in year 2005. So let's paraphrase it. The pie chart remains same. The given pie chart depicts the seven regions means so the seven regions of the earth and the amount of oil produced and utilized in these areas. So we have just paraphrased it like seven regions and uh, other than that we have just read, uh, written seven regions of earth and amount of oil produced and utilized in these areas. So we have just here they have written oil production and consumption. We have just written the amount of oil produced and utilized. So we have to just use synonyms and then we have to paraphrase it. So here is the other word that we can use instead of depict here source indicates compare illustrates describes gives information about provides information about reveals by changing this word we have to change the sentence also a little bit but uh, the meaning has to remain same and that is very important thing so this is the introduction so as we have written introduction let's move to the overview now in overview we have to just write the main striking feature of the graph and we have already done that like we have just uh, give a, seen the what are the uh, regions with more oil production and what are the regions with less oil production than their consumption so overall, it is clearly visible from the pie chart that USA, USA here, Canada, Europe, and Asia Pacific 
here utilize most of the oil produced in the world whereas other regions actually consume less oil than they produce so these are the other regions four regions latin america africa former soviet union middle east so you can mention mention the name or you don't uh, if you don't want to just write other regions like this so it doesn't matter so now we have written overview here is the whereas a linker that i have used to connect the sentences and this is it let's move now as we have written introduction overview let's move to the body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 so writing a body paragraph is a very easy thing you have to just write everything that is happening in the graph so we can write group wise like we can write in which uh, regions there is a uh, more production of oil more pro more oil production while in which regions less oil production there their consumption or we can just group information like first we write about the oil production then we write about the oil consumption and i have done the same here this is for the first one oil production one of the pie chart shows that about 30 percent of world's oil is produced in the middle east region so here 29.80 percent while us and canada contribute 18.8 percent of oil produced globally the remaining areas former soviet union latin america europe africa and asia pacific contribute nearly 10 percent each of total oil that is produced on this earth so this uh, these four or five regions one two three four okay these five regions one two three four five they are nearly ten percent though instead of writing for every region individually I have just written in one sentence for all like nearly ten percent for all the regions so it makes the sentence very easy to write and we can say little bit of prime also here okay let's see the main words here i have used about and nearly so i have not written exact the exact number 29.80 so i have written about 30 percent then i have used just a link of the while then here nearly so to avoid repeating such a word again and again like about then we can use nearly with synonym then approx approximately so it is important that you know all the synonyms to write and it is important that you don't repeat one word again and again in the same paragraph or different paragraph so this is it now we are going to write for the second pie chart now in case of second body paragraph we are writing about oil consumption so let's start the other chart displays that US and Canada consume more than 31% of oil produced globally. Thus, they consume more than they produce. Here, US and Canada 31.10% consume, while they produce about 18.80%. So, they con consume more than they produce. Now, the same pattern is also observed in Asia Pacific and Europe. Here, Asia Pacific and Europe they also consume more then they produce about 70%, 17% and 12% more oil than they produce respectively. So they consume more about how much percent that I have written here. So instead of writing how much they consume, I have just written the difference of how much they consume more than they produce. Finally, regions like Middle East, former Soviet Union, Africa and Latin America consume, consume less oil than they produce. So these five regions like former Soviet Union, Middle East, Latin America and Africa consume less oil than they produce. So instead of writing about every region how much they just consume, I have written that they consume less than they produce. So this is the thing that we have to understand that we cannot write everything here. We cannot write about every data because we have to see the time also if we are going to write everything about here then we are going to in trouble about timing 
so it is important that they you group the timing perfectly you have to just they uh, know the timing that you are writing how much time you have written this and also at the end it is required to check it once so and you have to also count sometime numbers words if you think you are falling under count so here i have written the number of words that i have written in here 174 words then that is good it is important that you write about 170 words because sometimes uh, the words that are you have written directly from the information given by else are not counted so it is important that you write more than 170 words so this is about pie chart and if you like it please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because i am going to put more videos about writing and reading in the future